I voted Remain in the referendum and right now I'm feeling quite angry and quite worried because I believe the Leave campaign should have had some kind of roadmap set out as well as a position on what kind of arrangement they would move to negotiate with the European Union. At the moment we have no idea whether they're going to try to the free market again or whether we're going to just go out alone and negotiate under the World Trade Organisation. I think this is quite worrying because obviously to you know, provide stability to businesses and the economy we need to know what we are going to go as as a country and what kind of formation this government is going to acquire. And at what we don't have that, as well as also we've now got Northern Ireland and Scotland questioning, you know, the constitutional arrangement of the UK. This is quite disheartening, and it's quite worrying as well because this is going to lead to further breakup of the union. And I really see no other way for it because you know Scotland and Northern Ireland voted resoundingly to remain. Hi, I'm Eleanor, and I'm a student at the University of Dundee. I was undecided throughout pretty much the whole EU referendum debate, and I ended up making my mind in the polling booth, booth on Thursday. I voted leave. Um, and I think I still stand by that, but I'm a little bit upset and a little bit apprehensive about how some people are treating this vote. I've had people message me telling my opinions are wrong, my views are wrong, and someone called me a racist because of the actions of a very small minority of people around Britain who did vote leave. I think that we shouldn't be whining, we shouldn't be calling each other names, we shouldn't be telling anyone that their opinions are wrong because everyone's entitled to a democratic opinion, whether you agree with it or not. And, but I think the biggest thing that we need to focus on is getting politicians to take control, getting the politicians to pull their socks up and do something about the vote um, and respect the vote of the people because at the end of the day they decided to have a referendum and they wanted the people to say the people have voted and the people have spoken and I think everyone just needs to respect that and move onwards and upwards. As a Remain voter, the one word I would use to describe myself currently is confused. There seems to be no plan. Um, for this impending Brexit. Uh, there's no idea of when Article 50 will be triggered. I'm confused because the Leave campaign um, are now going, well, we didn't technically say that, so sorry. So they've let down a lot of people that voted for them on uh, quite important issues like the NHS and immigration. My name's Andrew from Inverness and I voted on Thursday to leave the European Union. How do I feel? Well. It's still not quite sunk in yet what we as a nation did last week to actually go to the door of one of the world's largest organisations and say no, we don't want to go further with your agenda is still astonishing. But the impact for Scotland, I'm not so sure. We see Nicola Sturgeon has already pounced on the opportunity to run another independence referendum. So should we be shocked? Not particularly. For as long as there would have been any difference whatsoever there would have been an attempt to rerun the independence referendum. What will happen? Probably nothing. When we actually leave the European Union, all the rights such as fishing and farming, to name a few, will come to Holyrood, we'll have those powers. So to leave the UK and join the Euro area as an independent nation, we've been giving those powers back. 